In this video lecture, we are going to find the relative density of the substances which are lighter than water by using the Archimedes principle. So this is the cork. You can understand this as a piece of wood also. This is the spring balance. So what I have done is this is freely suspending piece of wood or the cork with the help of the spring balance. So the weight in the air of this particular cork or the piece of wood is recorded as WA. So this is weight of cork in air. Now ideally what should happen is you should immerse this piece of wood inside the water completely. So when you lower the spring balance ideally this piece of wood should completely submerged inside the water and then some amount of water from the Eureka can should come out and then we should collect that water, measure its volume, measure its weight and then the weight of this water displaced should be equal to the upthrust by the water. This should happen ideally but it will not happen because the wood is lighter than water. The density of the wood is less than the density of the water so ideally it will not submerge in. But still if we make an assumption that suppose if I put my finger on it like this and if I forcefully submerged it inside the water then some amount of water will come out that weight of the water displaced will be equal to the upthrust and the volume of this water displaced will be equal to the volume of the cork which is V and M is the mass of the cork. So ideally this is how it has to go. But we cannot practically do this because it might happen that some more part of our finger may go inside and the volume of water displaced would be quite larger because our thumbs or the fingers volume will also be counted in it. So if this happens perfectly then the relative density of cork with respect to water is equal to density of cork upon density of water. Density of cork is equal to mass of cork upon volume of cork divided by density of water is equal to mass of water upon volume of water. Now please don't substitute the value of water as 1 gram per centimeter cube density over here because this is an experiment and with the experiment you will have to substitute the measured value. So the water over here this part we know its volume because this is a beaker and the, there are graduations and we can record the volume as well as we know the weight of this water displaced. Correct. And we know that the volume of this cork is equal to the volume of the water displaced. So this will get cancelled. So mass of the cork upon mass of water displaced. Now I need to multiply up and down by G and G. So this will be the weight of the cork. And of course this weight is mass times G which is capital M. So mass times capital G will be the weight in the air. So when you multiply mass and acceleration due to gravity it is always weight in the air. So this is weight of the cork in air divided by this is the weight of the water displaced this one because the mass of water displaced into G is this one. Now we know that this basically is the upthrust because we know the weight of the fluid displaced is equal to the upthrust. So upthrust by water. So ideally if we consider a sinker which is forcefully pressed inside the water and if we apply the formula we should get this answer. But in practice we don't do this. We don't immerse the entire cork with the help of our finger. For that we have something else known as a sinker. So here is a sinker. Sinker is a cylindrical or it can be of any shape like this also. This is a cubical piece of metal made up of iron right. So the purpose of sinker is to completely sink this piece of wood or the cork inside the water. So we are going to use a sinker in this experiment but Ideally, this is just to show you, I am not going to perform any experiment over here. But these are the sinkers. It may be of any shape, correct? But it should be heavier than water and it should be good enough to pull this entire piece of wood or cork inside water. So now let's start with our derivation, practical derivation, like what should we ideally do is. So we take, first of all, the reading of the weight of this cork in the air, that is WA. Then we take a sinker and we put it under a spring balance 
and then we don't require its weight in the air. So what we are going to do is we are going to submerge the entire sinker. This one, right? We are going to suspend this with a spring balance and we are going to completely immerse inside the water. This liquid over here is water. And then we are going to record its weight in the water. So W1 is the weight of sinker in water. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take a thread like this and tie it over here and then we are going to attach a sinker to it. So first of all we will be having a piece of wood then we will tie a rope and then the sinker as shown over here. And then we are going to lower the system inside the water such that only sinker is inside the water. I hope you are understanding this very well. We have taken a sinker and then we have attached a thread under this piece of wood and then attached the sinker. Correct. And then we have submerged only the sinker inside the water. And then we are recording the weight W2. So what is W2? It is weight of cork in air because this cork is not submerged in the water. So the weight of the cork in the air plus weight of sinker in water. That is W2. And ideally if you add WA and W1 you will get W2. So basically W2 is WA plus W1. Because if you combine these two diagrams you will get this. Right. This part if we connect it under it like suppose if I disconnect from here and the entire part is over here you will get this diagram. So weight in air plus weight of sinker in water if you combine these two you get this. This is our main equation. Then what we are doing is we are still lowering the entire spring balance inside the water such that both of them they are submerged inside the water. So now this W3 is weight of cork in water plus weight of sinker in water. And of course I should say that over here if the up thrust is F1 and over here the up thrust is F2. You should understand that F2 is larger than F1 because up thrust is equal to liquid density times volume immersed times G. Now liquid density and G are same in both the cases but volume immersed is larger over here so more up thrust. So F2 is larger than F1. Now if I say that which weight is larger then your answer should be W2 larger than W3. Why? Because more is the up thrust less would be the apparent weight. Correct. And anyhow you can say that this sinker when it is in air it would weigh comparatively larger than the weight in the water. Right. So W2 would be larger than W3. Now what we are doing is we are subtracting W3 from W2. So I should write down the entire W2 that is weight of cork in air plus because W2 is weight of cork in air plus weight of sinker in water minus W3 is this entire part weight of cork in water plus weight of sinker in water. Now if I open the bracket you will see that the common part which is weight of the sinker in water will get cancelled because if you will open up the bracket the common part will go off. So W2 minus W3 will be equal to weight of cork in air minus weight of cork in water. Now what is this? What is this? This is of course up thrust. Weight in air minus weight in water is up thrust. Up thrust of or up thrust experienced by cork. And you can also say that F2 minus F1 because F2 is the up thrust felt by sinker and cork both. 
where is this f1 is the upthrust by only sinker so if i subtract these two i will get the upthrust on cork so which is this one f cork you may also write down w2 minus w3 as f2 minus f1 and i need this data we are interested in this data because we are going to substitute this over here okay so weight in air divided by the upthrust ideally this is not going to happen but had it been this the case then upthrust by the water upthrust by the water on the cork is what we require over here and which is as per our derivation over here is w2 minus w3 so this is what i'm going to substitute over here w2 minus w3 and this is the relative density of cork or the wood which is lighter than water with respect to water so this is how we should be doing it and this is the exact method we use a sinker in order to find out the density of the cork with respect to water so what do we require we require one reading that is w2 and then we require w3 and then we require wa now these three readings has to be placed over here and you will be able to find the relative density